Netflix movies make even more buzz with Triple Frontier, armed with the best action dude cast since The Expendables. However, that's not the only buzz, because one of the stars had the audacity to believe that men should carry as much responsibility as possible and pick up the heaviest thing they can and carry it. You know, sentiments only problematic because he learned them from Jordan Peterson. Oh boy. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Okay, so review and story time. So first, Triple Frontier star Charlie Hunnam came under fire after an interview in Men's Health where he praised your boy, Jordan Peterson. Immediately, the leftist claws in the media came out and blue check marks on Twitter to destroy Charlie. The Mary Sue ran a headline quote, I like Triple Frontier and then Charlie Hunnam had to go and ruin it. Yahoo Entertainment said, quote, actor Charlie Hunnam sparks outcry after revealing he's a big fan of men's rights figure Jordan Peterson. And Elle read the headline, quote, Charlie Hunnam is a big fan of men's rights hero Jordan Peterson. So what is the problem with the beliefs that Charlie adheres to? Check out the slant here. After salting the headline, they say, quote, Hunnam mentioned his admiration for Jordan Peterson, the controversial psychologist, author, and hero of the men's rights community. And what did Charlie actually say? He said, quote, I love the message he promotes, which is, take your life seriously, carry as much responsibility as possible. I think in his words, he says, pick up the heaviest thing you can and carry it. He went on to liken Peterson's mentality to those of special force guys. Quotes, in this day and age, everyone's grown soft and entitled, Hunnam said. It's like, no guys, you're not entitled to anything, unquote. Well, gee whiz, that sounds like the worst activism hero ever, right? I mean, does that even sound remotely controversial? Just imagine if a fan of a woman's rights hero told other women to get over yourselves, take responsibility, and carry the heavy burden. <laughs> yeah, that would never happen, right? Because activism is all like, you, 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 give to me, me, me. It's all about me. Not you taking responsibility for yourself. Look, Jordan Peterson, Charlie Hunnam, and every real dude out there just don't want to be chastised, ridiculed, and discouraged from doing your part, from taking responsibility and trying to carry a heavy burden for your community. You know, just not being beat down for being a guy. I mean, my God, the media is crazy, right? Anyway, good on you, Charlie Hunnam, for speaking out. And it definitely showed up in the movie. The performance was fantastic. And from what I can tell, Charlie Hunnam has not walked back his comments one bit. That sounds like a real dude. All right, let's go. As a movie, I give Triple Frontier a four out of five. Look, the cast is nothing short of phenomenal. And I mean, the fact that Ben Affleck, despite getting the second most screen time, turns into the last fiddle in this cast, speaks to how good they are. Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam, Garrett Heddle, Pedro Pascal, I mean, it's just fantastic. Now here's what you care about though. The action itself was good, but not great. There was nothing groundbreaking there to really suck you in. And the plot itself does kind of bog down just a bit in the third act. So yeah, it's good, not amazing. And my critic review is a four out of five. This really was beautifully shot and the landscape fit the story like a glove. The way they shot it, you really feel like you're along for the ride here, experiencing this whole mission that just falls apart and becomes worse and worse. It really is like a simple plan meets the expendables or something like that. I also really enjoyed the symbolism and the moments of focus that are strung out throughout the film, particularly when the kid comes back from church and sees the men who killed his father, thus cementing the cycle of violence to continue because of the mistakes. My faith and values is a three out of five. Now, there was nothing outspoken religiously in this film. However, the message here is actually pretty clear. It is better to live hard as a good man than to die a compromised one. The millions, the luxury that's just there at their fingertips turns into nothing more than shame and a literal burden after their specific actions that taint any joy that could have possibly come from this reward. Greed, envy, and anger are the devil's cocaine. And even good, great men can lose control and be faced with a life of regret. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. So that's the end of the video, so why don't you like, subscribe, and even click that little bell symbol down there too, so you never miss another video.